Hi guys, welcome to Durham Cricket Ball in Focus. Firstly, we're just going to look at a few drills and skills that's going to keep both your mind and body active during this period. Whilst you're at home, we want you to try and keep your bodies ticking, so as come the start of the season again, we're all in decent shape to start bowling again. Firstly, we're going to think about the ball. Learn to love your ball. Think about your grip, think about your position of your fingers on, the, on your ball and how you can manipulate those in order to bowl in swing, out swing and um, other variations, both for seam and for spin. So if you're going to think about that, think about where your shiny side is on this side for away swing, on that side for in swing. Think about your variations as spinners, as an off spinner, as a leg spinner. How can we work on those? So just practice getting your hands in the right position, feeling where your fingers are, feeling where the pressures are up your arm, and just think about throwing the ball up. Throw it up in the air, one hand into the other. Think about trying to get that perfect seam position. Or if we think about wobble, move your fingers across a little bit. Think about can we get that seam to wobble slightly. Think about how we can get balls coming out the back of your hand. They're slow balls. Think about can we flick it out of your thumb. Try everything, familiarise yourself with that ball. This becomes the tool of your trade. So make sure that we work hard on it, but just occupy your time and think about new ideas. Let's have a little bit of focus on the run-up. So if you can find some space outside, either in the street or in a park or on a piece of grass, work through your run-up, your distance, what you work on, and your run-up pace. Put a ball in your hand, we're gonna do sets of six as if you're bowling an over. And you're gonna run through at your run-up pace and then walk back. After completing a set of six, just have a short break, probably is about two minutes, and then complete another set. You can do this for three or four sets, just to simulate bowling a number of overs. Okay, looking at back foot stability, we're gonna to look to get into a strong back foot position. This is your position, so wherever your back foot lands, look to work through that position. First set we're going to do is just going up and holding for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. We're then going to go up and do the same drill, but for a count of five with your eyes shut. One, two, three. As you can see, a lot more unstable with eyes shut. So that's the next phase, working through, can you get better, working through your core. Stage three work through a set of bounces. So three little bounces, then hold your position. One, two, three. Excellent. Okay, stage four, we're gonna feed in a ball. We're gonna work with a bed ball, but you can use any type of ball. Tennis ball, cricket ball, football, anything you want just to make you a little bit unstable. side. If we can start to get that working, just give you a little bit of strength when we come back to ball. Okay, if you haven't got somebody to hold a band, then we can tie the band against the wall, against the fence. Also, if you haven't got a band, you can put a, a heavy ball or some sort of ball into your front arm and do exactly the same drill. Just keep that on. OK, 
Okay, looking at release and follow through. So we're going to do a little bit of work with the ball again. This can again be any sort of ball, any football, just a little bit bigger so you've got something to have a little bit of resistance. I'm going to feed the ball in and Mitch is going to drive the ball back through straight, just looking at his release position. now is a little bit of release work so I'm going to give him a ball he's just going to ball it through to me just trying to get that release out of his hand in the right position Okay, thanks guys. Just a few little tips and tricks and ideas that we can work through. We're just looking at uh, trying to keep the body and mind fit through this period. So if you can be in a position where your body's in a position where you can go straight into bowling again, once we get the go ahead to get outside. Uh, try these wherever you are. You can do some of these in the house, you can do some of these in the garden. Otherwise, if you've got a space where you can actually bowl through, try and get some warmers on your belt. If you can, try and get three sessions in for Good luck guys and stay safe.